First of all, do you drink coconut water? Whether you do or whether you don't, I want you to write in the comments. I'm going to start off by telling you the answer to a question a lot of people ask, which is, is coconut water more hydrating than regular water? Well, the answer is no, it's not. Coconut water is not more hydrating than regular water, even though many brands and companies and articles say that it is. Regular water is quite hydrating. Coconut water can be as well, don't get me wrong, but is it any more hydrating? No. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna answer a few more commonly asked questions like should you be using it as your post-workout drink? Is it good for weight loss and other things? I'm gonna give you the, the pros and the cons, the benefits and the risks, but I'm also gonna kind of tell you my final verdict at the end of the video about whether you should be buying coconut water. So make sure you watch to the end. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cardle. It is good to see you. Okay, so this is a scientific, uh, <clears throat> Gosh, I tripped over myself. This is a scientific review of coconut water. This is not a sort of personal or anecdotal or an experiential review. That is why I'm not sitting here with a can of coconut water saying, it made me feel this way. There are plenty of other videos on social media to do that. You don't need me to do that. I'm here to give a scientific review, which means telling you what data exists to say what coconut water does and does not do, okay? So that's the first thing I need to get off my chest. I should also clarify too that coconut water in general there's a difference between coconut water, and I'm, I'm not even really talking about the commercialized kind. I'm just talking about coconut water, like coconuts water versus coconut milk. Just so you know that coconut water is the clear liquid from the inside of the coconut, whereas coconut milk is a blend of coconut water and grated coconut. When, when I'm talking about coconut water here, I'm talking about the commercial brands of coconut water that are on the market. All right, so we've uh, dealt with the hydrating question. Let's talk about is it ideal for like post-workout um, hydration, et cetera. I mean, you can use it if you want, um, but I don't know that it, or I think that's any better than say regular water. Now let's go to some of the benefits because I think it ties into this. Um, some of the pros of coconut water is it's got lots of great electrolytes. It's got a lot of potassium, other electrolytes in it. Um, it's got a lot of good things for our body. So that is, let me just be very, very clear. There's a lot of sort of really good nutrients in coconut water, okay? The other thing is that um, depending on how you look at it, 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 it is um, I mean, perhaps a pro that it is low in calories. Now you gotta weigh that with a grain of salt because water has no calories, right? And I just said that coconut water is no better at hydrating us than regular water. Coconut water does have calories. It tends to be lower in calories than many of the fruit drinks and fruit juices out there on the market. But remember, I don't really recommend drinking a lot of fruit juices and fruit drinks, if any at all, because of the sugar content and the calories. So yeah, while it may have less than some of the other juices on the market, it's still got more calories and sugar likely than regular water, which is just fine. So keep that in mind. The other thing I would say is that when you buy coconut water, please make sure that you are looking at the number of servings in a container. Like a container like this could actually have two or three servings. You think you might just be getting 30 or 60 calories, but you might need to actually multiply that. That's just an example, okay? Um, so keep that in mind. Um, relatively low calorie compared to other juice drinks, but high calorie in some situations, certainly compared to water and based on the actual brand that you get. Okay, that I wanted to uh, make a note of. Now there are other claims about coconut water being great for weight loss and being great for like all sorts of sort of health benefits, uh, heart disease, etc. We don't have a lot of good data that suggests that coconut water is like your slam dunk. Okay, I'm going to lose weight. Let me start my coconut water. Okay, I need to get heart healthy. Let me start the coconut water. We don't have slam dunk data that says that. I'm not recommending coconut water to my patient for heart health, uh, patients for heart health or even weight loss. Now look, if you wanna use it as part of a, your overall healthy lifestyle, I'm okay with that. I'm not saying coconut water is bad. Let me be very, very clear. I'm just saying we need to temper some of the claims and some of the assumptions that we make about what it can do, okay? And remember that there are potential risks. Number one, the calories can add up. You gotta be careful about that. The other thing is if you are eating a well-balanced diet, fruits, veggies, you know, all sorts of stuff, you're going to get the nutrients you're getting in coconut water from the food you eat. Like you don't have to buy coconut water to get nutrients. I probably should have said this earlier in the video. I hope you're still watching because this is one of the most important things. If you had to drink coconut water to get your nutrients, I mean, we'd be in a whole lot of trouble if we had to do that, right? So you don't need coconut water for that, although it's got a lot of good nutrients in it. I would also say that since there's a decent amount of potassium and there could be sodium and stuff like that. If, especially if you have like kidney problems, other problems, you want to run this by your doctor before you like just start 
drinking coconut water. I think it's always a good idea. And the other thing I would say too, is that, you know, you can overdo anything. You can overdo anything. You can overdo drinking too much water. Actually, I said this in one of my other videos. I have videos about this, guys, about the dangers of drinking too much water, how much water you can drink. Um, and some people, there was a, somebody who just recently commented on one of my videos like, how can you drink too much water? That's ridiculous. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you can die from water toxicity. You guys know there are stories in the news every year about someone who does this, who overdoses on water. What happens is when we drink too much water or drink it too fast, it lowers the sodium content in our blood, and that can actually put us into a coma. I send a patient to the hospital at least once a year for low sodium because they've started exercising, eating healthy, and they're pushing all this water and it's lowering their sodium to levels that are too low. I don't say that to scare you. I'm just saying like, I just speak the truth here and I'm not out to sell you anything. As you can see, I'm not representing anything other than science. Okay. You don't have to take this information from me though. You can actually Google or fact check everything I'm saying. You'll see it yourself. So please be very careful with your water consumption. But this is also why I say with coconut water and things like that, don't overdo coconut water because like with the electrolytes that it has, the sugar that it, you know, the sugar, albeit less than perhaps regular fruit juices that it has, etc. you can still overdo that. Okay. So again, you want to drink coconut water. I'm not here to tell you that you can't or that you shouldn't. In fact, I know I have friends that just love the taste of coconut water. Totally fine. Just in moderation and just be cautious about the expectations that you have for it. Okay. Drink it because you enjoy it. Not because you think it hydrates better than water because it doesn't not because you think it's going to kick loss, uh, kick, kickstart weight loss or other major sort of health benefits that we don't have the data for. Okay. Um, so just keep that in mind. And of course, run everything by your doctor. I like, so back to what I was saying before in the beginning of the video, how many of you now drink coconut water? If you didn't answer before, I'm just, I'm not saying like how many of you change your mind. That's not it. But I want to know, like, if you didn't answer before, do you drink coconut water? Why do you drink it? Like, what do you like about it? Is it the taste? Is it this or that? I dated a guy once that loved coconut water. Like I'm not anti-coconut water. I'm just like, you know, just know what it really is and know what it's not, you know, that's all. Um, so let me know in the comments, like what you do, what your deal is. And, and also let me know if this video was helpful. And if you have other uh, questions about coconut water that maybe I did not answer here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, please subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. If you haven't, um, please uh, click the little bell. For those of you who are watching this video on, on Facebook, please um, like and follow my page. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I do daily videos and everything, all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah. Also guys, I'm on Instagram. I'm on TikTok. I'm on WhatsApp. I'm everywhere at Dr. Jen Cottle. And what I try to do as a health professional, as a family doctor, I try to answer the questions that uh, you never thought to ask or were too afraid to ask. Uh, so voila, that's what, that's what I do here. Also, I have a free health newsletter that goes out every week. You can go to my website, www.drjencaudle.com. You can sign up for my free health newsletter. Uh, guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, love y'all as always. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.